What's going on YouTube? Back with another look at the Nook HD from Barnes & Noble. If you saw my last video, you know I picked one of these up because it was on sale for a pretty good price. And now I've, I've installed a few apps you can see up here. There's some more apps going on. And one of the things that I wanted to show now is because we have the Google Play Store in its entirety available to us now, we can now take apps that will replace this stock launcher. So right now it's running the quote unquote Nook launcher and I wanna get rid of that. So what is gonna happen is when I hit apps, it's no, it's no longer gonna look like this and we're not gonna have this little carousel up here and we're gonna get a lot more options. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use Nova Launcher if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen me use that on phone on my phone before. But here we're going to take a look at it running on this uh, Nook HD. So let's open up the Google Play Store. So I'm going to go to Apps and then Play Store. But here we have Nova Launcher. You can use many different launchers. Uh, I've tested a few out and this is the one that, in my opinion, looks the best on here and runs the fastest. So just go ahead and hit Install. So I'll just go ahead and hit Accept. So what you're going to notice, I'm going to hit the, the home button or the little end button and it's going to give me an option when I do that. So if I hit that, so you can see now it says complete action using home, which is the Nook launcher or Nova launcher. So I'm going to select use by default and select Nova launcher. And you see it, it's come it's come up with a different home screen. You no longer have the carousel of apps up top. We have this dock down here at the bottom. and. Of course, the screen transitions are a lot quicker, and the, the default is this cool cube-looking transition, and that's customizable. You can edit that as well. If I go into the app drawer, you see we've got a different look here as well, and this is customizable as well. How it goes horizontally, you can set it to go vertically as well, and then your widgets are displayed out for you. It looks a little more similar to a traditional tablet or Android device that you might be used to looking at. I previously had installed Nova just to test it out and like I said I tested out a few different launchers and so I'm going to go ahead and restore my previous backup. So I'll go ahead and select this and that was the backup that I had made. Again this is something you can do in Nova Launcher. So I'll select that, hit OK and there we go. It's got the dock that I had customized. Uh, the other thing that I had customized was this. I made it vertical instead of horizontal. And uh, you can do a lot of stuff with Nova. It's a pretty customizable app. I won't get into it completely because there's a lot of stuff you can do in it. It'll be a really long video if I show you everything. So go out there and install it. It's got a free version and a paid version. Try it out if you like the free one. I, I suggest getting the paid version. I have the paid version. So there you have it. That's a look at Nova Launcher on the Nook HD. This will also work on the Nook HD Plus as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can send me a message here on YouTube, or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Until next time, Enjoy customizing your Nook HD or HD+. Take care.